Hey guys, Rob or Panix here and welcome to Web Design and Coding for Beginners Part 2. Uh, today we're going to be talking about CSS and containers and starting from where we left off. So I'm going to unhide my desktop and we're going to go to Web Site Tutorial and we're going to open Index, right click, open with Dreamweaver. Um, and as you can see I've made the font a little bit bigger and I've put the character set um, meta tag in from before. So um, this is where we left off. This is uh, where the download from episode one was and we're going to go from here. So we're going to start by linking a CSS file. So within your head, below your title, let's put a line in and go to open bracket, link, and you can see um, Dreamweaver starts to pop up and say like, ah, do you want link? Press yes or press enter and it would like it does it better when you're when you started typing if I type lin the only thing it can be is link so press enter and it's there and you'll learn to use that it will speed you up as you go along but it's the only thing that I use in Dreamweaver that notepad doesn't really have um, so link and then you want rel r e l and if you press enter after you get to that when it shows you the rel it will give you the nice quotation marks ready to go but if you don't it's equals open quotation and then style sheet and then again the close quotation marks uh, at the end and then you want type which is going to be text forward slash CSS close quotation mark and then the last one is the nice and easy one is where you've actually put it now we haven't put it anywhere yet but we're going to put it there in a sec and you want href r e h e f not r not h red h ref equals and we're going to call it style css eventually but it's not existing yet go to style dot css close that and then you want a forward slash close because there's nothing else in that like in that tag so there you go that if you give it a second will pop up here and it's saying but hang on a minute style css doesn't exist why have you done this so that's what we're going to do next we're going to go to file new and you see I've got it ready we had on HTML4 just go down to CSS and there's no type of layout just click create and if you're on notepad this is literally the top bit you need is at caraset utf8 and then there's a CSS comment but um, these will all be in the download so if you don't have Dreamweaver you can download it and see where you are so we're gonna file save as and we're gonna call this one style.css now make sure it's in the same place as where your index.html is save it and then close it and now if you click on style it's got your style sheet bingo so that's the beautiful thing beautiful thing about dreamweaver that's the last thing I, that's the other thing i use quite a lot is that they're in one place you've got one file open you've got your source code and then you've got your style sheets if you had lots more style sheets in they come along here so um that's pretty much it that's how to install a style sheet now that'd be a pretty short, boring tutorial. Uh, so we're going to do some actual coding today, um, <laughs> which is which is cheeky. But I'm going to start by explaining the difference between HTML and CSS and how they work together. Now HTML is pretty much the framework. So um, you set the text that's going to be there. You set which boxes it's going to be in, and then the CSS says you've called this box um, box one box one has the color red so CSS applies the color applies the styles where it is basically what it looks like so um, imagine a scaffolding rig uh, for a, a, like a music venue and then the posters or the um, the big banners the stuff that go on it the banners is the CSS the scaffolding is the HTML it's really easy and we're gonna get straight into it now what we're gonna do is we're gonna type hi my name is Rob. Now obviously your name isn't Rob, but well it might be actually. Who knows? We hit Command S or Control S and we're gonna preview in Chrome. Now it's opened it in that bloody other window. Now you can see, there we are. That's your website, done and dusted. Thank you very much. Good night. <laughs> no. But it's a good start. This is your website. Hi my name is Rob. It's a good start. But we're gonna want to code it. We're gonna make it look nice. So we're gonna open your CSS and let's just start by making the background a color. So we're going to type body. 
Now, we're styling the body. We're not styling a specific body. So, body is just fine on its own. And then we'll type background, dash, color, and then a semicolon, and then just any kind of hex code. So, let's pick a nice dark gray, and then close it. And then, see, I'm, I'm always pressing Control S, so that when I press Control Tab, and I switch back to my Chrome, where I'm proving it, and refresh it, bingo, it's there. So, how how easy was that? How really cheeky and easy was that? Now what we're going to do is something slightly more difficult, is centering it. So at the moment, when you resize it, it's not in the middle. It's not in the middle. And all your modern websites, it's like, whatever you have, whether or not it's left or right aligned, it's in, the, it's in a box in the middle, basically. And there's two ways of doing this. You can have it reactive. So as your, box, as your site gets um, wider or sh um, slimmer, your box reacts or you can have it as one fixed site and hope that everybody can see it. Now the first one is quite tricky and difficult so we're going to start with a fixed container. Now most people set the width as 900 so that's what we're going to go with. So we're going to start by just deleting the hi my name is Rob and putting some lines in the body so this is basically where all your stuff is going to go. Now if I'm doing this too quickly don't worry just go back and rewatch it, pause it and type it if you if you want to, obviously I I've got the download for this in the description. Have that open in a separate uh, thing so you can see how and compare it and see how you're doing. So we're going to want to tab in, and then hit uh, square uh, curly, uh, pointy bracket div, and then let's just close the div. And if we put the again tabbing in so that you know what's within that div. Hi, my name is Rob. Now if we go back, I'm hitting Command S all the time. You can see my file thing blinks when I do it. Bingo. But nothing's changed. This is in a in a box, but the box isn't styled. The box is just sitting there. The box has no it has no width, it has no anything. So to make it something, you have to give it either a class or an identity. Now a class can be used as many times as you like within a website. Um, and an identity can only be used once. Now, you might think, well, why not just use a class every time? But if you're only using it once, the identity is quicker. It won't keep searching for it um, throughout the website, and it, it just speeds it up. So we've got one container. Everything is going to go inside said container. So we're going to go div, id, because it's an identity, and then we've got the, the brackets, um, the equals, and then the quotes. And we're going to call it container, and close the quotes. There you are. Has that changed anything? No, it hasn't. So we're going to go over to the style CSS and we're going to put in a comment so that we know where we are in our CSS. At the moment, we've only got one line of CSS, but as your document evolves and gets bigger, your CSS will start to grow. Like, I think mine's at like 300, 300, um, 300 lines, and I've got three or four of them. I, have, I separate them for ease. But you want to put a comment in. So, slash star star slash anything in between these two stars won't be read by your web browser so you can call it knobhead or whatever you like I'm gonna call mine sensibly and call it container and it's basically just so that you know where you are you can hit command F and find the thing so we're now for IDs you have to do hash before it and then container the name of your ID um, to do a hash on a Mac if you don't know this and you're always finding it a nightmare to hashtag on Twitter it's Alt and 3. And you can thank me later for that one. Uh, it took me a while to work that one out, but it's fine. And again, like we did with the body, curly tags, uh, curly brackets. Has that done anything? No, because we've not actually said what container does. Now let's do something really easy and set the container's background color, like we did with the body. So let's set it to a slightly darker background color 222. And I'm I'm constantly compress, uh, c pressing c Command S. I can't stress how important that is. Command S, and then I'm Alt tabbing. You can click on Chrome. Oh, sorry, I'm really congested. And then hit refresh, and you'll see that our div is nice and coloured now, but it's too big. It sits in the middle, but that's only because there's nothing else around it. Sorry, I'm really really congested today. Um. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it to width 900, or 900 pixels rather. Um, and again, all, this will all be in the download, so don't worry if you're not following or you want to go back and check it. 
press Command S, and then refresh. Now you can see it's 900 pixels wide, but it's not in the middle, and you can't see the text. So we know another cheeky one, color, FFF, and now your text is visible. That was just so that I could see what I was doing. Um, and then the last thing we're going to do today is center this, um, center this, what's it called? Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da, the container. So the way to do this, this is one of those things you just have to take my word for it until we can explain it at a later date, is the margin, if you set, not margin, margin, M-A-R-G-I-N, margin, and you're going to want to set the top and bottom margin to naught, and then the left and right margin, if you set them to auto, it balances them out. Then close the tag, press command S, and refresh. And there we have it, there's a container whatever you want to put in this container you can make it as big or as small as you like it will be centered and um, we'll talk about styling it next time and making it look good as we develop it um, and placement but that's basically it so that's how you create a container and how you do the basics of your CSS file um, yeah this has been oh, it's been an 11 minute tutorial um, on inserting a style sheet and creating a container. These are the very, very basic um, parts of your website. This is the structure that you build your website around. But the truth is, this is the difficult bit. So it just gets easy from now. And the most difficult bit is making the decisions as to where you want stuff to go and actually what you want on the website. So um, I hope this has been informative. And I look forward to bringing you part three very soon, uh, where I don't know what I'll cover yet, but hopefully I'll, hopefully I'll know by then. Um, I've been Robble Panics and it's been absolutely fantastic to talk to you again and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.